Let's do one more video where we find uh, some roots of a complex number, and we'll do it a little bit more quickly and fluently. Uh, so we have to find the cube roots of negative 6i. So first I want to write negative 6i in complex form. So negative 6i in, in complex form is just 0 minus 6i. But really what I want to write it in is trig form. So in trig form, it would look like, it would be right here. There's negative 6i. <clears throat> so to write it in trig form is really easy. My r is 6, because that's how far I am from the origin. And my angle is 270 degrees. So I'm going to write my complex number in the form 6 cosine 270 plus i sine 270. And so finding the cube root of negative 6i amounts to solving the equation z cubed equals 6 uh, cosine 270 plus i sine 270. So, again, this equation here, or this problem here, is the same as solving this one. <clears throat> and so what we saw was, if you raise both sides to the one-third, so z cubed to the one-third equals 6 CIS 270 to the one third. We can get our answers. So raising z cubed to the one third gives us a z. Now I know there are going to be three answers, so I'm going to get that set up. So my three answers are going to be right here. And so we know that by De Moivre's theorem, 6 cis 270 to the one-third is the same as 6 to the one-third cosine i sine 270 times one-third. And 270 times one-third is 270 divided by 3, which is 90 degrees. So our answer, our first answer would be 6 to the one-third, or the cube root of 6, cis 90. There are going to be three answers, and so they're evenly spaced. 360 degrees divided by 3 is equal to 120 degrees. So to get my next angle, I add 120. The radii are all going to be cube root of 6. 90 plus 120 is 210. And then I add 120 again. And I get cube root of 6, cosine I sine of <coughs> 330 degrees. And there are my answers. And again, I did this in the last video. You don't have to do this, but just to show you, if you graph them, they are all evenly spaced uh, around the origin here. <clears throat> so, cube root, of, cube root of six is <clears throat> excuse me, cube root of six is a number that's uh, let's see, it's probably bigger than one but less than two because the cube root of eight is two the cube root of one is one so it's a number between one and two so roughly it would be somewhere here i guess with an angle of 90 degrees so my r let's just say that this distance is cube root of six the next one is cube root of six to ten which is next to 120 so that would look so that'll be somewhere here 
and then 330 would be somewhere here. This is Z1, Z2, and Z3. All evenly spaced 120 degrees apart. So I'm utilizing that symmetry to find the roots. If we wanted, <coughs> if we wanted, <coughs> if we wanted to put this back in a complex form or standard form, <coughs> we could always just expand this out. But you don't have to do that. All right, I'm, looks like I'm dying here, so I'm going to have to end this video. Hopefully, you have a good sense on how to do this. And why don't you try this one on your own? It's kind of fun. Find the cube roots of one. Try that on your own. It amounts to solving z cubed equals 1. Good luck.